Consider the following top tips or best practices as you work on your DACUM. Remember, a goal is a general statement about what a learner can do, whereas an objective is a specific statement about what a learner can do. And your objectives lead into your goal. On that note, a goal is greater than or equal to the objectives within that sequence. Also, keep in mind, all your goals and objectives must include a verb. A student will be able to do something. It's about student performance. Also keep in mind that you do not include instructional activities within your DACUM. The DACUM is a planning document, um, and those instructional activities would um, be listed within a lesson plan. Finally, your scope and scale um, is extremely important. You, uh, within your goal and objective sequence, you want to make sure that a uh, objective is small enough to fit within the context of the goal. We provided you an example uh, profile DACUM chart to work with that has some errors. What I would encourage you to do right now is to stop this video and open up the DACUM error identification PDF and take a look at this uh, example DACUM and see if you can identify the errors. Identifying these errors will help you to see if you're making some of the similar errors on your DACUM. Consider the following errors within this DACUM chart. Within our, our first line of explaining basic safety, uh, the first thing that I want you to uh, recognize is that A1 is not a goal or an objective. Um, it's really, it's a, a, an instructional activity in the sense that you're welcoming students. It belongs within a lesson plan. If you take a look at A4, you'll note that performing a basic rescue procedure is an activity that is higher in, in level than explaining basic safety. Performing is higher than explaining. In row B, when we're dealing with preparing a shelter, we need to take a look at B3. Debating shelter sites might be an instructional activity that you would have happen within your classroom. And again, that would be something that you could identify within your lesson plan. Um, another challenge uh, is potentially B1 in the sense that setting up an A-frame is a simpler task than setting up a tent or setting up a lean-to. If you can set up a tent and set up a lean-to, well then the setting up an A-frame or setting up a frame is really part of that context and it, it uh, really um, isn't a necessary component of that. So it, it's out of the scope and scale of uh, the goal. In the next area, row D has only one objective, and performing a single stroke is only one activity or, or one uh, activity a student will do, and it doesn't constitute using canoe strokes. There has to be uh, more uh, strokes are being performed. You have to have a minimum of three objectives within a sequence, a minimum of three. Ideally, you want to have four or five to really make it work effectively. In the final row, the notion of explaining the history of a canoe is at a higher level, so it's out of the uh, scope of describing the types of canoes. Right? So you've got describe, describe, identify, um, but explain is a higher level. So again, remember, you know, the uh, goal needs to be greater to or equal than the objectives. Also, E5, reviewing material, is an instructional technique. So these are um, examples of ways that uh, we often go wrong when we're developing a DACUM. And hopefully these uh, errors that we've pointed out will help you uh, when you take a look at your DACUM and you look at your, your classmates' DACUMs to, to uh, help them identify any challenges or problems. Hopefully these top tips are going to keep you on the right track.